dog to dip. You hear my dog walking in the background? It's all right. Maybe it's got to work. All that shit flying around with my whole plunger. So, welcome to I Dip for Fun. But I've already screwed up the intro by saying I love to dip. Maybe we should change that I love to dip. I don't know. But I Dip for Fun. I'm Renee, your lesbian dipper today. We have another camel snooze. But this one is the large snooze winter chill. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna get the other cans for comparison. Alright. So here's the other can. See if I can do them all together here. Here they are. These are the frost food regulars, which like they're the small ones. That's what they look like. These are the frost large. I did a video on them a couple weeks ago, so I, two or three weeks ago, you can go check that out. Here's the winter chill large. It's a green. And there's an old tab of thing. No, no, there's a perforated tab right here. And then you open up, and then the plastic just comes out. Pretty much same packaging, just different color. The back it says winter chill. Simply place the palace on your lips and enjoy the fresh blends of cool winter chill and tobacco flavor. Sounds like the same thing, but this just says winter chill instead of. Let's see what the initial reaction is. Wow, wow. Can't get the can open. It's a little tin. Just can't get it open. Oh, there we go. All right, let's see if they look. Huh, too different. Maybe they're a little darker. Oh, go ahead. This smells like that scope mouthwash. That's what this smells like. And this stuff is the trident smell stuff. These are the large pouches, so that's what it is. You don't have to spit with these, so no mug joke today. We'll throw one in. I like to throw them in the bottom. Normally, you can throw them in the top because. You don't get as much saliva up there, but throw them in the bottom. That's why I used to do it. Fine. And yeah, I pulled my lip. That's what that says on the bottom there. This one, this one just said something else. No. I thought these said... No, no, anyway. But that on the bottom of the lid, see. And these are pretty good. They're made by Camel. I think Marlboro made some, but I'm not sure if Marlboro still makes theirs. I've seen online that Marlboro had some floating around online when I was looking at different snooses and stuff. So, what I also learned online is that American snooze, which would be, this would be one form of American snooze. I think there's other brands I don't know off the top of my head. This is the most popular brand that you'll find almost everywhere. It's the Camel Snooze. It's not real snooze. So, this also what it reminds me of when you get those minty flasks the minty flask. That's what this kind of reminds the taste. Mm. So, yeah. That's what this reminds me of. Um, so. Well, I like to sit and soak for a little bit. Yeah. I was thinking about doing, on this channel, dip reviews with conspiracy theories and stories. So, during next week, I'm hoping to get some conspiracy theories stories for you to kind of bring here so we can talk about conspiracy theories and then we can have a whole conversation in the comments in the comments about you know your opinions my opinions but just theories conspiracy theories I think what conspiracy theories is some of the theories have to be somewhat true because there has to be like a reason for the, the conspiracy theory to be thought of yeah some are like way out hoopla and some are like you know like of course it can't be believable but like there has to be like some sort of reasoning for something to be given in a conspiracy theory. Like, so somebody in the media has to do something to make someone believe that they're lying or that that didn't really happen. They're just covering it up. So, you know, like when things about aliens, like some conspiracy theories, aliens have landed here and we're covering it up. You know, there's things that, you know, something has to be shown for somebody to believe that that person is lying and here's my theory why they're lying. So, if you guys want to hear that, comment below, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. But I actually like this one a little bit better. It's a little bit milder than the... This one's a little bit more minty. Because it's more that try it down. This is more mild, so I actually like this one a lot better. I do know for a fact that if you put these in the freezer, or in the fridge, when they're super cold, you put them in there on a hot day, these are nice. 
These are super nice. You get a little bit of a buzz off them. And they're good for when like you're super busy at work. You can dip them like if you work in a restaurant or something, you can't really be spitting everywhere. Still with these in and continue to work. You still get a little bit of a kick. These are great. For situations where you can't spit. Like let's say Okay. Let's say you take a flight. You go on an airplane. You don't want to be sitting there, oops, you know, because if you spit in a little mud jug, some people may eventually know that you're spitting in it and they're like, okay. Or let's say you go on a trip and you're not sitting next to your family, sitting to two strangers. You don't want to be sitting there. So you just pop one of these in and just sit there, you know. And they don't even know nothing. These are compact. You can literally just get out, go to the bathroom, pop one in or sit there, face the window. These are good for long flights, flights. These are good for when you're at the airport. Or if you work in construction, you want to continue working, but you don't want to spit everywhere, you don't want to have a carry a spitter with you. So, these are real good. I used to use them when I worked in the kitchen. At a gas station when I worked in back in the kitchen. So when we got super busy, I used to just throw these in when I didn't have to worry. I get my nicotine fix and I go back about the day, so. These work, so. Yeah, I really like this one. They have other ones. I haven't forget the other ones, I haven't tried all of them. I did in the past, but I don't remember the flavors. <coughs> what they taste like? Top of my head, so. But I do like the fact that, where's it, see, we do have one that's kind of more out. My large ones are more empty. Here, I'm gonna dump these here, my large ones here real quick. Because, let's just keep fresh, but I like these little tins because these tins are really good. You can reuse them for little things. Little screws, little buttons, little eyeglass things, little jewelry. These things are really cool and reusable. You can even throw some, some dip up in there. You know, when you really want to conceal the dip, you can really throw it up in there and like shove it in your sock or something. If you really want to conceal, you know. You can hide almost anything in here. You can use this little jewelry box, a little box of little tools in the workshop, little tiny screws in the workshop, little tiny jewelry stuff. If you're a jewelry maker, these things are really well. So you can really reuse them. They're 100, they're like, metal or whatever so they're really good um yeah how's your october going guys hope it's going well oh i really love this flavor this one's probably not gonna last long why is it even on this little thing with cancer the warning labels are huge and when i get um sick when i used to get cigarettes they don't have them on here that big even on the, what I want to say, well, not on this one, but I have gotten, not on this one, this one's kind of gross, so I need to eat liquid, but on some of these that I get, they have big warning labels, like, this is an addictive product, and it contains nicotine, so, but cigarettes don't seem to have that, so, and people who are into tobacco, or flavor and stuff, usually aren't cigarette smokers, they're either cigar smokers, pipe smokers, or smokeless tobacco users. Because people that use smokeless tobacco care more about the flavor and the quality a lot of the times. Um, pipe smokers care about the quality, tobacco smokers care about, and uh, cigar smokers care about the quality as well. So, that's why a lot of cigarette smokers, they just chain smoke. They're not there for the quality of cigarettes. I could be wrong. Most of the people I know just want to, most of the people I know don't even care. What brand of cigarettes you got in your ding pocket? The only thing they, most people care about is, is a menthol or regular. Because if it's regular and they're not a regular smoker, they need menthol. Usually that's all they care about is if it's regular or menthol. Or if it's a hundred, or if it's just a regular king size. They don't really care about quality inside the tobacco as much. So, um, like I said, a lot of dip tobaccos, the big dippers will try. Dippers and chewers will, will throw in a dip and if it's nasty or it's dry, they're gonna be like, this shit sucks. They're not gonna continue to do it just to get the fix. I mean, if they're super desperate and out of money and they can't get out, yeah. But most of the time, they're just gonna go get a new can. So, I highly recommend you try these. Not promoting underage use, but. Yeah, we'll see what I get next time. I'm gonna try to either get more flavors or I'm gonna try to find a new chew or dip to review. And I'm gonna also bring you guys a conspiracy theory. This video's getting a little bit long, so you guys keep dipping for fun. I'm Renee, your lesbian dipper, and this is I Dip for Fun. Peace.